good day. day. Hallelujah. <laughs> good, good day. day. Good day. Good day, fam, faith family. <laughs> Amen. We uh, are coming uh, to share with you just uh, some exciting things that God has put in the heart of the ministry Hallelujah. as we move into a new season, uh, not only in the month of April, but just a season of ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, God is speaking about uh, holistic ministry. Come Amen. on. We serve a holistic God. Amen. Uh, and he uh, caused every facet of our being and our life experience to be whole, to be well. Uh, and so uh, for this month and until God says, uh, we're moving into um, some specific focuses and we're focusing on physical health and we're focusing on environmental oh, health. Hallelujah. Uh, and so just like to create clarity so that you all in our faith family can join with us in this amazing experience that uh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit and God has us moving along. Uh, and so the vision uh, is for us to continue our journey with Jesus towards health and healing. Hallelujah. And in this process, we're hoping through uh, the ministry that God has given us to foster some opportunities for personal and collective ways for us to improve our spiritual yeah. and physical health. And we're also looking uh, to God and his direction about how we can promote awareness of and responsible stewardship of God's earth, right? Of God's globe, of God's creation, amen. And we got some statements of unity. Listen, we want you to be a part of what God's doing and to fix our minds and our mouths. Come on. Right. And our hearts. So what, what are we going to be saying? Look Pastor? what we say indeed. It is so very important. And so in this season, just some statements to draw us together uh, in thought uh, and purpose is that God is moving us. Amen. That God is moving <laughs> us. Hallelujah. Yeah. Not only is God moving us, but there's also this, this statement that draws together, get up, get out, and grow. Hallelujah. Get up, Amen. get out, and indeed to grow. Yeah, Amen. so just for my heart and mind, I like to try to put things in a manner that helps mm -hmm. me remember them, right? Uh, and so, you know, we, we witness who God is and how he is moving within the lives and of his people, of his church collective, and how uh, he's moving in the earth. But he's not just moving, he's actually moving upon and within and through us. Uh, and what is he moving us to do? To get up, get, get out, out, and grow, Amen. right? To grow. Uh, and let's just be transparent. When we say get out, we're, we are aware it's a pandemic. We're saying get out of some areas of our lives that That's may right. seem stagnant, right? Get out of some areas in our hearts, lives, and minds that might seem uh, stale or might honestly feel dead. Uh, and so it's much more of a mental, spiritual experience. We're encouraging you still, right. come on, to practice social distance and to, and to use wisdom uh, and to get vaccinated. And man, let's just say that. Uh, but just recognizing again, God is calling us together uh, to be a part of his move, God's move because he's moving us and he's moving us to get up get out and grow and amen. really you know this yeah. is a holistic experience so we are encouraging you to as the weather gets warmer amen encouraging to get outside to uh, be able to take in the fresh air yes that's what we have here uh, feel uh, god's uh, sunshine <laughs> on your face hallelujah and the rain, or, and, the and, rain the and the wind right uh, to just be able to embrace uh, that openness amen that is good for you good for you And in this process, God helps us focus, right, so that our intentional efforts uh, can produce some power and impact. So we have two initiatives, right? Uh, and each of the initiatives focuses on one of those areas, the physical uh, health and the environmental health. So the physical health uh, really is what we call our faith and fitness focus. Hey! Want our souls and spirits to be well. We also want these temples, right, where the Holy Spirit abides to be well. Come right. on, Jesus. I get so excited about it. And so we're going to be creating some opportunities on a daily basis and a weekly basis uh, for us to cultivate that wellness in our physical being. And, and Pastor Phil, so share about this environmental. Yes, you know, we really, we really are called to be good stewards over mm -hmm. over this earth that God has entrusted yes. to us, to us. Yes, Amen. And so yes, uh, this globe, we're talking about God's globe. Mm -hmm. 
uh, as we take care of what it is that, that God has given us, there will be some initiatives yeah. uh, to be mindful. Amen. Be mindful, whether it be, I think about my children. They're always, when we're walking, they always see litter. Uh, litter and they say, look, we need to pick that those yeah. things up, right? And so uh, throughout this season, we'll be having some initiatives where you can think about how to be a good steward. Uh, over the earth and over what God has given us. And they'll have some strategic impacts, right? Some of them will be local so that you can create an impact in your home and in your local community. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them will be much more um, global in their intention uh, because, again, we believe that, uh, that we are the body of Christ, right? And we have some local influence, but we also are called to make a global impact. Amen. So one of the things uh, that uh, I think about with pastors is we're passionate about water and clean water initiatives. So I'm positive uh, that we'll be uh, sowing seeds of life yeah. uh, into that uh, ever wellspring of life. Uh, I'm looking forward to this, right? Uh, it's not just about exercise and physical activity. It's also about what we put in these temples, right? So we will be having some nutritional health focuses, some food demonstrations. So again, get excited, get engaged, get involved, uh, stay connected uh, with uh, this faith family so that you can make sure that you're in the flow mm. of what God is doing and how he is moving. What's happening on, on Wednesdays, Pastor? We have our uh, fan word encounter, uh, but we're going into a special series that we kicked off, praise God, last mm. week, uh, <laughs> that we open up uh, now with our a meditate and move series amen so we have a time to uh, spend time together in the word uh, but also understanding the, the blessing of meditation but also moving these temples so we really are meditating but also moving spiritually and physically Uh, we had some wonderful instructors last week <laughs> to get us going and stretching and getting that blood pumping. Amen. And hey, rest so you didn't miss it. If you weren't a part of it, you can uh, connect with us in our social media spaces and, and you can catch it and you can watch it and rewatch it. That's the beauty mm -hmm. of this virtual realm that we now uh, flow in by God's divine design. So yeah, get connected. We know that we get stuck in front of computers and on desks. Uh, often uh, most of the day and so it's just an opportunity for us to to move to move come on and to meditate uh, and then on Sundays as a part of the worship experiences for the amazing ministry we're a part of uh, we also will be highlighting these physical environmental health focuses so you'll see some spotlights that really again provide insight information encouragement to you uh, to live well holistically amen all right I mean, you got an assignment somebody say I got an assignment right I got an assignment, got an assignment. Uh, we want to put some legs to this vision we want to get moving right uh, and so we have uh, four assignments our assignment is to commit somebody say commit commit develop Develop, engage, engage, and share, right? Share. One more time, I don't want anybody to miss it. We want to commit. That's right. We want to develop, we want to engage and share. And so the commitment really is you committing to God and yourself uh, to journey with Jesus towards the wellness path and plan and promise that he's already provided. Uh, the development is us uh, working to just continue to get some consistency and us getting engaged, mm -hmm. right? In the process of cultivating environmental and physical health. Engagement is we want you to do this successfully right. uh, and one of the best ways to be successful is to do it with someone uh, to have somebody not just to, to, to nag you or rag you to do something that you may not feel like doing today but to journey with you and to remind you of what you can do it and what you can do in Christ right so we want you to get a partner and if not just one partner, we want you to get a group of partners, right? So we want to invite you to develop a wellness partner or a wellness circle. Find your bra, uh, your brother, your sister girl, your sister friend, or the group of them. And say, listen, come with me on this journey for the next month and some change, right? Uh, and let's witness what God wants to do in our whole life experiences. So get your friends, get your sisters, get your cousins, get uh, the she's and the he's. Uh, who need the touch of God, who need some healing in areas of their lives uh, that, again, uh, may not look like God's promise, may not look well or feel well. 
uh, and let's see what God will do. Amen. Amen. Look, we are so we are stronger together. together. Amen. We're stronger together. <laughs> Even the word says that that two are better than one. Uh, a three braided cord is not easily broken, mm -hmm. and so as we join together, we're believing that there will be a great outcome mm -hmm. uh, spiritually, physically, in the heart. Uh, of, of your heart, amen, but also the heart of God to do uh, what God is calling us to do in this season. Amen. Well, listen, we talked enough. Let's get moving, right? Amen. Uh, we're just going to seal this experience with a word of prayer uh, and just trust that God is walking with us. Amen. Amen. I'm going to thank you for these moments, God, to be present, to be present with you, to hear what you have to say to us as your sons and daughters, God, uh, how to receive the encouragement and instruction, the wisdom and guidance that you give for us to fulfill uh, and to receive the fullness of your plan and promises for our lives, for us to be whole, yes, hallelujah, for us to be well, hallelujah, for us to cultivate uh, the concept, the promise of wellness in the earth realms, God, with those that we are in faith fellowship with, our God, we thank you that you have indeed called us to good stewardship, Lord. You said those who are faithful over a few things, I make ruler over many and over much, God. So we thank you, God, as we hear the call to be faithful uh, locally, God. Be faithful over these temples, faithful in the community, Lord, and then uh, to trust you, God, to have an impact globally. So we bless you today, Lord. We thank you for what you are revealing and shall do. This we declare in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, this partner of mine says the best is yet to come. Yes, I choose indeed. to believe God with him for that to be your truth. Hallelujah. So we bless you and look forward to seeing you along this journey. Come on, fam family. Let's go. Amen. <laughs>